Hi, this is Heather Coleman, your intuitive medium. I want to briefly talk to you about your third eye, also called our third eye chakra, a sixth chakra, I believe it is, if you're going from the root up like this. Um, so often this area right here is our, let's say, seeing it's like if I get an imagery when I'm doing a reading for someone, that's where it's often thought to be coming in if I'm seeing something, almost like when you're having a dream at night, that kind of seeing. Now, even if you don't consider yourself particularly psychic or intuitive, you can still develop this area and the benefits to you um, of doing this are just more insight. Think of the word in, inner, sight, into decision making, into your everyday life into little decisions, big decisions, that sort of thing. So one little exercise we can do um, is take a crystal. It's often thought to be indigo. So this is the closest I actually have to like a dark purple and just a few minutes. If you ever notice people wearing crystals on the third eye, um, there's a lot of different symbology behind that. Personally, I like to physically keep it open. Um, in other words, that's why you won't see me wearing one. But that being said, holding up a crystal to that third eye chakra for one minute, three to five minutes helps open up those energy channels. And crystals are thought to really, we might say, have an energy and a life of their own. But that would be a topic for a whole other video. Also, if you work with a pendulum, now this isn't even official pendulum. A lot of pendulums have a crystal or a rock or something like that at the bottom. This is actually a, net, a bracelet with the inscription believe on it that I really like, and it's become my pendulum. Right in front of that third eye chakra, we just kind of let it swing a little bit. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed, kind of looking at it here. And now, depending on how far familiar you are with pendulums, it's circling, which means there's energy swirling. And if you work on the pendulum, you know what your yes looks like. Often the yes direction will let you know if that chakra is open and balanced. So right now, my pendulum is swinging to a no. What's that about? <laughs> um, but that's okay, right? We just go with it. It just lets us know something's going on. Now it's swinging to kind of like a reverse yes. And it's a myth that just swinging this in front of someone will hypnotize them, by the way. But that's a myth. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis, um, which will be the topic of a future video. And now it's swinging to a yes. That's my yes. It goes this way. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in response to this video. Have a beautifully blessed day.